Biden has plans for a new head of the CFTC. The House looks to take up the battle in regards to the infrastructure bill and crypto. And now that we're seeing XRP on the rise, the FUD begins. If we haven't met before, my name is Frank Cho. I'm here to help you live a richer life. And on this channel, we talk about cryptocurrency, personal finance, and investing. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, do it now. That way I can keep you informed of all the latest news and updates. And we are very close to 13,000 subscribers. Just a few more to get there. So hit that subscribe button if you find the information here helpful. And don't forget to hit that like button. Now let's take a quick look at the crypto markets before we dive right in. We did come back over the 2 trillion mark, but did drop back slightly at 1.99 trillion at the time of the recording of this video with Bitcoin at 47,000, Ethereum right there between 32 and 3,300, and XRP up to $1.27 up. 57% on the seven day. So we are having a nice climb, but when you see climbs like this, there's always people who want to cast doubt. We'll talk about that one in a minute. But now per Reuters, Biden plans to name Rostin Benham to lead the US CFTC. So he plans to uh, announce this. Now this has come from Bloomberg, but has not come directly from the White House. But per the report, uh, the interim head of the CFTC, the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, which remember there's some disputes whether they or the SEC should be in charge of regulating the crypto markets. But Benham has been the acting uh, leader or the acting head of the CFTC since January. But the White House recently decided to pick him for the role on a permanent basis per this report. Uh, the timing of the official announcement is still out there. So we will wait and see when that comes out directly from the White House. On Twitter, we have some action from not just senators, but also from the House. So Patrick McHenry here who uh, is a representative from North Carolina, has a nice thread I thought would be worth looking at. And thank you to Jay for uh, tagging me in this. Given the distinct nature of digital assets, not all of which are financial products, we need to allow time for thoughtful deliberation to get this right. The bipartisan Toomey, Warner, Loomis, Cinema, Portman Compromise Amendment would have been a good step in this direction. We must not hastily apply regulation that picks a side, favoring one type of technology over the other. This will only hamper development of cutting edge technology and hold America back on the world stage. The House must continue to examine this issue to preserve our nation's leading role in global financial innovation. I will work to ensure it provides protection for American innovation and will put forward needed changes to achieve this goal. This is not the end. This is a public negotiation. If the Senate can't get it done, we'll fight it out in the House. Hashtag crypto. So uh, good to see that we have people in the House that are keeping an open mind in regards to regulation in cryptocurrencies. We will look forward to seeing some answers coming out of the House in particular now that it's on their plate and out of the Senate. Uh, it has been very disappointing to see the way that these types of regulations have been shoehorned into unrelated bills and packages. But uh, now that it moves to the House, uh, hopefully they will take some real action on clarity from a legislative standpoint. And if nothing else, get the ball rolling, because right now we're sitting here uh, just kind of in limbo waiting for clarity on regulation. Now on Twitter as well, Cointelegraph is getting some very interesting responses from the XRP community on their latest post here. And we'll look at the article in a second, but it's called XRP chart triggers sell off warning after price explodes by 54% in one week. And you can see some of our friends in the community have some 
choice words for this particular post. Now, if you actually take a minute and look at the article, you can see that they're going to, you know, talk in detail on the charts and their interpretation of them. And always keep in mind when it comes to the chart analysis you see out here, uh, you can really draw anything you want. And so whatever narrative you're trying to push, uh, whether it's bullish or bearish, you can find a way to draw on a chart to make it look like it's going to happen one way or the other. So keep all of that with a grain of salt um, because uh, as you see here, they're going to talk about the recent uptrend and pushing past the three month high and continuing to push. And at the time of this, when they posted, it was at the dollar 20 mark and they're hinting in their article. Again, this just came out earlier today that it should, or in their opinion, uh, be overbought and retrace back and so they'll give their explanation of why they believe this but when you look at what's actually happening in reality we've continued on to that dollar 26 dollar 27 mark that we were just looking at so hence the um the opinions of the people in the community that they're full of malarkey to put it nicely um, now, we need to keep in mind as we're doing our own assessments that just because there's uh, fear, uncertainty, and doubt cast by you know, various crypto publications, that does not mean the fundamentals are lacking or there's any reason to be uh, fearful. We understand the utility, the use case, and the potential to drive future growth, and we also know that the Ripple team for the company itself is actually doing a lot in the background to build out partnerships and a robust ecosystem for XRP to be utilized in the future. And we've talked about these in many instances, especially over the last two or three weeks in the new Asian corridors and the way that they're pushing on-demand liquidity and the utilization of RippleNet. So I'm not worried, and we still have some major tailwinds for us in the future here, meaning that we have yet to hear answers on many of the motions and open items in the SEC versus Ripple case, many of which could result in a very positive upswing and the possibility of a settlement, though we don't have any official word, uh, still wouldn't provide a major boost. So I won't be selling until we hear what happens with the case, because uh, if with a settlement or with a win in the case, you would expect things to continue to rocket onwards. So we will hold on and continue on this glorious ride for the time being. So I hope you found this information to be helpful. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button so I can keep you informed on future updates. And don't forget to drop a like on your way out. Comment down below what your thoughts are. Do you expect to see the price retrace back or do you think we'll continue this nice run through the weekend? I'd love to know what you are thinking. Thank you so much for spending some of your time here with me. I do truly appreciate it. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your weekend and I will see you in the next one.